Hi fifth graders, today we're going to learn how to draw an ice cream soda slash sundae based on the art of Wayne Tebowd. Wayne Tebowd is an American painter who is still alive, he's 100 years old, um, that is known for painting his delicious treats like desserts and food, and he also paints landscapes as well. So I'm going to show you some of his artwork and then we are going to get started. So I'm going to use uh, markers today and watercolor paints just because it's quicker. All right, so I'm going to start. We're going to make an ice cream sundae soda, whatever it's called. <laughs> We're going to start in the middle of the paper and I'm going to draw a curve line like this and then line on each side like that and connect it like this. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a diagonal line all the way down here and down here and curve a line underneath. And then I'm gonna add this shape under here like that. I'm also going to add a line here and here so it looks like it's on a table. And I'm just gonna add a line around here that's going to resemble a shadow. Oops, like we did with the snowman. Okay, and on the top, I'm gonna start with that little curvy bumpy line that looks like that fizz from the soda. And then I'm gonna draw and ice, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna sketch this light so I can, cause I'm gonna erase part of it. I'm gonna draw this shape for a, a scoop of ice cream. And then I'm going to add curvy line, like the topping is on that fudge topping. Then I'm gonna just draw a circle here, light, light circle, look how light that is. Because I'm gonna add a little bit of whipped cream. And right here, I'm gonna add a circle for my cherry. And I'm just gonna erase in here. And all of these lines, because this is not see-through. You can erase better when we trace later on. Okay, and then I'm gonna, behind here, I'm gonna add another scoop of ice cream and a little curve line like that. On this side, I'm gonna add a straw. So I'm gonna come up here like this, curve a line down, make a little oval there, come back up and back down and add some stripes. Okay, and then I'm going to add some more hot fudge up here and some lines on our glass here. And there we are. So now I'm gonna trace this with my black marker. And um, you can also, if you want, you could put something in the background. If you wanna add a window or an ice cream sign, maybe it's on uh, a table in the restaurant, maybe it's on the shelf in the ice cream parlor. Be creative, think outside the box. I'm gonna go ahead and trace this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done tracing everything with my black marker and I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring. So first I'm gonna use my markers here to color my ice cream. Some yummy flavors. Again, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils. I just try to use whatever is faster so that my videos do not take that long. Oh, this marker smells really good. Try to color nice and neat, stay in the lines. And if you have a problem with that, you can work on your uh, coloring skills. This is my hot fudge topping. I'm gonna leave this part white up here because that is my whipped cream. If I can stay in the lines, that'd be great. And while I have the brown, I'm gonna go ahead and color this one. Okay, I'm not 
sure what flavor this is, but I like this color. Oh, maybe cotton candy. Oh, should have colored that stem when I had the brown before. Okay, and my soda is just a little frothy. Make that yellow. And make it look bubbly. Put some lines in there. My straw is gonna be white, blue stripes. So now I'm going to, I'm going to color the glass, but I'm going to use a crayon for that because usually the glass is see-through. All right, so I'm just going to make it look, I'm going to just color in the, ed the edges so it looks like glass, or at least you could try to make it look like glass. bottom part as well and then the shadow down here I'm gonna do that with black if I can find my black crayon oh you know what I'll do with the paint because I can't find my black crayon okay so I'm gonna start I'm gonna paint the table my favorite color remember when you have when you add a little bit more water to your paint, it gets lighter. I'm gonna try to do that because I wanna really show the shadow down here. Wayne Tebow made sure that in his paintings of ice cream and such, he always had that shadow. And remember we talked about shadows when the object is closer to the light, it's lighter and as it gets farther away, that other side is darker. So here I'm just gonna put, make it a little darker. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of black to it. I think the black overpowered it a little bit. Put a little more water. There we go. Okay. And my wall, I'm going to make that, let's see, a bright color. I don't have much to choose from. Oh, I'm gonna use green because I did not use green. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my background and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done painting the background and I'm all finished with my ice cream sundae. Again, you can be creative. You can put whatever you want on your sundae. You can use whatever colors you like. You don't have to copy me. I can't wait to see what yours looks like. Don't forget to send me a picture. Thanks, bye-bye.